up YouTube, General Tony here coming back with another very fun and entertaining video for you here today guys. Now before we get into this actual video, I would like to give every single one of you the chance to win a $10 gift card. It's going to be iTunes or Android only as you know, just standard pretty much. So I want you to comment down below, you can see the army camp at the top of the screen. I want you to comment down below how long is left until it's upgraded to max level. How long is left? Oh, didn't mean to click that. So how long is left on that army camp? It is between 6 and 9 days. So I want you to comment down below, I've already written down the time whichever one of you gets closest I will message you tomorrow morning and you will receive a gift card tomorrow evening guys it's gonna be a $10 gift card so comment that down below now inside of today's video I have been able to win 12 defenses in a row I've gathered 263 trophies just on defense in the last 12 to 16 hours I'm going to be showing you the base as well as the most recent defense log and then we are gonna go in for a live attack so this is the Town Hall 10 base I have been using. Now every single structure is pretty much inside of the actual walls. So in order to get the 50% you actually have to break into the base instead of being able to pick structures off around it. That's why this base has probably won me a large amount of defenses. You can see Inferno Towers, Expos, Air Defenses, Heroes, even the Tezzers and the Big Bombs are all situated in the center. So if they actually do manage to get into the center, they're going to have one hell of a problem to get the Town Hall. So we're going to go into the first defense. We've got three defenses to show you, but before we do, let's just have a look at the defense log. So you can see, I'm not going to lie, we have been given some of the wins. We got a win there for that one archer there. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I've still got a bit of a cold, guys, so I do apologize if the sound isn't perfect. So going into the first defense, guys, this is probably one of the weirdest attack strategies I've ever seen. 42 max level giants, but he doesn't deploy them in a normal way. He actually sets them out in separate areas all over the base. He doesn't have many heal spells. One heal spell. This is the most stupid. I don't know if I would say stupid. It's just the weirdest attack strategy I've ever seen. Comment down below if you've seen this before. I certainly haven't. I mean, I haven't been attacked by max level giants dozens and dozens of times, so I wouldn't be able to tell you guys how to attack with them. I've never really used them myself to to be honest but this just seems strange I mean they're all gonna get picked off they're attacking different parts of level 9 walls most of these walls in this base there's now 215 220 level 9 walls so only 20 to 25 level 8 walls to go or something like that so he's got a random dragon here as well he's got his heroes his Queen's a different decent level his Kings level 15 as well not too bad a couple of wall breakers I don't know what kind of attack strategy this is, but it is certainly weird. One I've never seen before. So you can see the Inferno Towers have connected onto the Giants inside of that base compartment there. The Queen's going to go to work, but he's only managed to clutch 9% so far. Is he even going to be able to get to 10? Let's just see what happens. Queen's gone down already. Here come a couple more Giants. Now one Balloon has come in. It's going to get taken out before each of even reaches the cannon. All the Giants on most of the outer layer of the base have been taken out. A couple left over here, but as soon as they break into the walls, they're going to get blasted by the Expo, the Inferno. No tower. Oh, you just got flung as well, my boy. So you can see the giants in this compartment here again, absolutely fried by the Inferno. The Tesla has gone to work as well. The last two giants, I believe, coming in. I know he's still got two more inside of his actual troop composition. The ones up here have all been fried. Two left. Come on, pick him up, pick him up. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Kill him with kindness, guys. Kill him with kindness. So those two have dropped down there. And that is pretty much the raid over. Let's just speed this up a little bit. Here come the last two. Last two giants incoming. He sent in some final wall breakers just for a beg of mercy. And we take him out nicely. One down. 16 cups for us. So we're going into attack number two, and this guy is coming at me with a Lava Looney and two Lava Hounds, about 20 Balloons, 20 Minions, King Queen, two Rage, one Poison Spell, and four Haste Spells. What's this guy going to be able to do? So he's sending all of his Balloons in one area. He's going to probably place down the Haste Spells pretty soon. There we go. That one's kind of been wasted. Not wasted, but it wasn't really used optimally. He's got the Rage Spell in the center, though. That's gone pretty well, but these are just going to get fried by these Inferno Towers now. The Hounds were sent in far too early. You should actually send in Balloons first. And then drop the hounds slowly behind. The hounds are a lot faster than the balloons. We've got all the air larries come up as well. Every single one of these larries is set to air. I'm going to change that. I actually thought they were set to ground. But they appear to be set to air. So we're going to go ahead and change that. I mean he hasn't done too bad. He's up to 34% so far. I'm going to clean a few bits of percentage up here with the minions. And of course the lava pups. So he's still got his heroes to place, and here they come down at the bottom of the base. Don't forget, he's got his few little minions up there, taking out a few more percentage points. Is he going to be able to get the 50%? There's a large amount of structures here. Maybe he should have gone on that side. 
course the Inferno Tower is there to cause problems. The Expo will connect with them very shortly. There we go, it's set to ground. All three Expos are set to ground. I always think as a Town Hall 8, you should always set your Expos to ground. You don't really get that many air attacks anymore, especially with the air sweepers now in place. So I would always suggest if you're Town Hall 10, set the Expos to ground. Town Hall 9 may be slightly different. Have one to ground, have one to ground in there because you don't get the Inferno Towers. But the Queen went down just there and then 48% was very close, guys. Unfortunately for him, he just didn't manage to make it. 20 more trophies for me. So we are going into the third defense of the video. Now this is a strange one once again. He's come with golems and giants. Not really seen that much these days. I wouldn't really suggest using it to be honest. It's maybe too much tanking. Of course the giants do do damage but the golems are only level 2 as well. So I wouldn't really suggest bringing them. Especially attacking a town hall 10. You do want level 4 plus golems if you're attacking a town hall 10. He's got his heroes behind. The king is pretty much another tank. A couple of healers have come in there. He's used the, the actual lightning spell on a clan castle. I wouldn't suggest bringing that many of them as well maybe replace it with a poison spell these days guys don't forget an earthquake spell can do quite a lot of damage to any structures which has a small amount of health left you can have a poison and an earthquake to replace your lightning it's going to be more optimal for you so you can see his king's doing some damage down there the queen is going to work on some of her defenses as well going to be able to clean up a decent amount of percentage but he's not even close to 30 yet this doesn't look good for him he's lost quite a few of his barbarians there the king's gone down as well not too many troops left he's still got two lightning spells though is he going to be able to use them on the town hall i very much doubt it the queen is going on to the tesla now she's going to connect to the expo shortly. Is she going to be able to take it out? There we go. She's connected now. Royal ability hasn't been used there. She's going to use it very soon, I think. There we go. There we go. So the Chicas have come out, but they've gone down so fast. And now, my friend, you are about to die. You can feel my wrath. And there we go. Healers going down slowly as well. A few archers dropped up to the top right hand corner. We're going to speed this up a little bit now guys because there is 40 seconds left in the raid. But all he has left is archers and a clan castle. Two lightning spells. It doesn't appear he's going to use them. He's going to get up to 31%. There we are. Is that where the raid ends? Yes it is. Another 18 trophies for me. So you can see the base so far has defended very well guys. I haven't lost a single defense using this base. Now I'm going to see if it can propel me into Champions League. Hopefully we're there by the end of the day. I'm going to go offline for a couple of hours later on. I'm hoping I come back with about 100 to 150 trophies. Obviously the higher you go the harder it is. But who knows, who knows. I will keep you informed guys. So we are going in for a live attack. Going to be using some Lava Looney. And that's really all I've been using. That and Botch just to push me up a little bit. Trying to save on the loot. Let's see what we can find. Okay, so we have found this Town Hall 9 base. Now, it's quite a good one because one of the air defenses is down. One of the air sweepers is down. That air sweeper is facing down. Those two expos are also down. This is just a downward attack, guys. We are going to come in from the top because everything that he's got in this base is actually facing down. So, we're going to attack from the top. We want to take out this queen pretty quick as well. There is a clan castle, but I'm not too scared about it. Let's just go in for it. Let's just go for it. Come on. We're not even going to test for the CC. Let's just go in behind. We're going to go 30 balloons. 30 minions and we're going to drop the heroes on the queen side hopefully they can take her out we got a couple of wall breakers there we're going to send three in there hopefully manage to break through the first layer of wall no no you little shitty wall breakers didn't even manage to do anything we have lost so many balloons already oh i thought the expos were set to ground one is set to oh no they are set to ground my bad so we're going to use the king's ability there we're up to 40 percent so far can we get the two star Queen's ability used just in time. We need to take out that air defense there. We aren't going to get the town hall, I don't think. Are we going to get it? Are we going to get it? I'm not sure if those expos are set to ground. I literally can't even tell. One star's in the bag anyway. Two stars. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and end it straight away. 12 cups later. Not too bad. So there we go guys, we're on 2860 trophies, currently pushing our way, trying to push our way into Titans 3. Now I know it's going to take quite a while, maybe a couple of weeks, who knows, one week, two weeks, it depends how much I play. Hopefully we're in Champions by the end of the day, obviously as soon as you get into Champions League it gets a lot lot harder, you don't really find any more Town Hall 9s. So we are going to be using Go Wipe and of course using spells just to make sure we don't get any losses. If you want some free gems guys first link in the description box down below is going to take you to cash for apps where you can get some extra points using my code don't forget to comment down below how long is left on the army camp guys i will try and reply to every single one of your comments inside of this video as ever thank you so much for watching stay tuned to the channel for many more videos to come have a lovely day guys and i'll see you soon